What is going on? Welcome to the video. My name is Max Tuning and today I'm going to go over three relatively cheap upgrades that I think every guy should have. Now when I say upgrade, you could be going from a similar item and upgrading to this or you could be going from not owning it at all to owning it. A lot of these products not only will increase the visual appearance of your closet or your room, I think a lot of them can actually increase the longevity of the items you're using it with. I hope you find this entertaining and learn a little something that you did not already know. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. The first upgrade we're going to talk about is getting a watch box. Now, as you start getting more and more into watches, your collection will hopefully grow. And I think a lot of you maybe are just kind of throwing them on your desk or maybe throwing them in your sock drawer. I actually started out when I just had maybe one to three watches. I would lay them on a little microfiber cloth on my nightstand. And uh, I thought this was the only way that I would ever do it. As my watch collection grew, I started adding more and more of these microfiber cloths and it started looking more and more tacky, honestly. And a lot of my friends had already gotten watch boxes, but I was like, I didn't want to pay to put my watches in a box when just laying them on a cloth was cheap or free. And uh, I was just stubborn, honestly. So I finally sucked it up and I went on Amazon and I ordered myself a 12 watch box holder and I have never regretted it. Not only does it protect from dust or spills onto your watches, it looks a hell of a lot better in a nice watch box that you can organize rather than just having them spread out wherever in your room. Now there are some crazy expensive watch boxes out there. Mine was about $20 off Amazon it holds 12 watches and it looks fantastic I am guessing for 90% of you watching this you don't have $20,000 worth of watches that you need to keep in a $10,000 watch box case or something ridiculous like that honestly a $20 one from Amazon will look fantastic no one will know that it was only $20 and they come in a lot of different sizes from like six to 10 to 12, and then you can get above 12 and they start having drawers. So get one that fits your collection, and I promise you will never go back. The second upgrade we are talking about is the shoe tree. Now I understand there are many different types of shoe trees out there. Some are crazy expensive and some may have more benefits than others, but for the sake of this video, I am just gonna briefly overview what a shoe tree does and talk about the ones that I have, which are not the crazy expensive ones, which I think will probably suit the needs for most of you. So one of the main benefits of a shoe tree is to retain the shape and form of it, which will directly increase the lifespan of you owning that shoe. Also, the wood will pull odor and moisture out of the shoe. So if you have stinky feet, I would highly recommend these. Another pro tip is if you have a shoe bag and a shoe tree, these will come with more expensive shoes, and you just simply put it in the shoe bag then when you travel, you don't have to worry about scrapes. You also don't have to worry about other luggage smushing your fancy shoes. So if you're wondering when you should get a shoe tree for your leather shoe, generally if you spend over $100 or $150, that's what I would recommend. I picked these up. You can get two sets for about $30 at Nordstrom Rack. Amazon sells them. They're very, very cheap. And the coolest feature of the shoe tree, the coolest feature of them all, is if someone comes over and they're like, hey, what is that? You just say, it's a tree from my shoes. The third and final upgrade we're gonna talk about for this video is gonna be one of my favorites, and that is the wooden hanger. So I can bet that a ton of you watching this video are still using those cheap plastic or wire hangers that you buy in a 100 pack for about $4 from Walmart. I also bet that you use those same hangers when you were about eight years old. Do they hold your shirts? Yes, but today we're gonna to take things to the next level. So these wooden hangers are the best upgrade that I've ever done in terms of how happy I am and the fact that I will never go back and just the visual satisfaction that I get when I walk into my closet. So you gotta remember, you're gonna be looking into your closet every single day and why not look into something that looks like a department store instead of an eight year old's closet, right? So I do have to give credit to my brother. He started using these first and he tried to convince me and I was really, really against it. I was all for the plastic hangers. I was like, why would I ever upgrade to new hangers that's so dumb do they hold my clothes yes why would I upgrade to those right so these I get from Amazon or you could get from Ikea again there are some very expensive wooden hangers these are about a dollar a piece from Amazon and I know what you're thinking a dollar a piece that's crazy plastic hangers are so cheap I guarantee I guarantee that when you buy these wooden hangers and you upgrade from the plastic ones 
you will look in your closet and you will never, ever, ever go back to plastic hangers. You will look at your shirts and look how nice it looks and be like, why did I not do this sooner? This is by far the best closet upgrade that I've ever done. You do not need crazy expensive hangers. Just get a wooden hanger. They look fantastic, I promise. I cannot stress, am I, am I getting through to you how awesome this is? Buy these. That will conclude the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do think that these three items are something that if you get, you will never ever go back and you'll be very happy with and they're honestly not that expensive. If you have any cheap upgrades, leave them in the comments down below. I would love to read them. Thank you again for watching. I will see you later.